Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless from MLSsoccer.com. You know, there are no real set plays in soccer. The game is a little too fluid for that. But there are patterns of play. And when those patterns are recognized and put into motion, they can lead to good things, like a goal from Connor Casey in the Philadelphia Union's 3-0 win over the New York Red Bulls on Sunday, July 23rd, 2013. Let's wind it back and break it down. Corner kicks have accounted for roughly 10% of the goals scored in MLS this year. But they don't always come through the initial play. Some of them come on the second action, the reaction, if you will. Now this particular corner kick is pretty routine. The Red Bulls' Brandon Barklage attacks the cross and his clearance is high and far. But in this type of situation, it's what happens next that matters most. We'll start when the ball falls to Keon Daniel. He's under very little pressure, although Johnny Steele is approaching. It's at this point that Philly start to impose a little order. They start to recognize the patterns of play, and it happens naturally. What happens is that Sheenan Williams drifts outside to present Daniel with a wide option. This is a classic pattern of play in a situation like this. From an early age, Williams has been trained to open up wide, and Daniel has been trained to look for that wide option. Even in the middle, young Jack McInerney knows it's the right play at this moment, kind of directing traffic from the middle of the box. When Williams collects the ball out wide, he really has one duty, put the ball in the box. And he wants to do it relatively quickly, before the New York back line has a chance to regroup and get organized again. Now you might wonder if Williams is aiming for anyone in particular. I can tell you, he isn't. There are just too many bodies in there to pick out one of them. He is aiming for an area. A sweet spot, just at the top of the six-yard box. It's the forward's responsibility to make the run to get there. And on this day, they do. Again, it's a pretty classic move, a pretty classic pattern of play. The forwards do exactly what they're trained to do. McInerney curls to the far post, while Casey drives to the near post. This crisscrossing sows confusion in the New York defense and allows Casey to lose his original marker, Roy Miller, in the jumble of players. The end result, a goal. There's no real pattern for how to celebrate one of those. And it's Connor Casey, who's a New York killer again. Well, that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Goal. I'm Greg Lawless. Join me again next time. We'll wind it back and break it down.